So to be able to evaluate what happens when you increase the flow, uh, what happens with the pressure drop, I will show you, I will share with you now uh, high seas process simulation where I performed a uh, case analysis to evaluate what happens if I decrease my flow 50%. Let's suppose that my range of operations can go from the design conditions uh, to 50% uh, of flow and 120% of flow. So here what I have is a pipeline. I have a valve that represents my control valve in the system and I have the pipeline downstream of the control valve. And what will define the pressure drop in the valve? It will depend on the variable that you need to control, but most often the downstream pressure that you need are specified. For instance, I must fill or I must feed a, a reactor with propane, so I have the desired pressure at the inlet of the reactor or I need to fill water to a cooling tower, to a heat exchanger, and etc. So the, the battery limits or the destination pressure usually is specified. We have the source of pressure that depends on the, the system you will calculate to give you enough energy to do the flow of fluid through your pipe pipelines from point A from point B and the available pressure drop in the valve will be a consequence of the losses of pressure in your pipeline from point B or from point A from point B and in this system for instance when I do I considered one cubic meter per hour of water and I would like to evaluate the pressure drop of my control valve based on the changing in my flow. So I range it from a half to 20% or uh, above the design conditions. And with that, I got eight steps. So in my results, I have the variation of the pressure drop as a function of the flow. And of course that you can see that as I increase the flow, the pressure drop available in my control valve decreases because I have more pressure drop in the pipelines. And to compensate the pressure that I can lose in the system, I need to reduce the pressure drop in my control valve. So the paper says that to do the right selection of my control valve, I need to consider the maximum flow and which is the result pressure drop. Based on that, I will have the calculation of the CV and I will choose the CV as close as possible to the calculation.